Well, hello guys, welcome back. So Loki thought we owed you an explanation. Odin wanted that library more than anything. He didn't reject it because he didn't want it. He wanted it very badly. But unfortunately, as you know, we've been getting continued harassment. And he felt that he didn't do enough to shield the channel. And I looked at him and I said, well, I was raised as one of these people. Is this how you get back at me? And he's like, no, absolutely not. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person were some kind of funny armband. I, I truly would not. I was raised that way. I was groomed that way. I've told you guys that before. I'm not proud of it. But um, when you're closed off pretty much from the role by your, by your parents... Um, and you're raised a certain way, you don't know any better. It took a long time. I'm kind of grateful I grew up in the 80s where, you know, a lot of minorities and other people were starting to show up on TV. And I couldn't understand why my father, because my mother wasn't the problem, uh, why my father hated these people so much. And it turned out he had a group of very interesting friends. Do we see where this is going? And they had already groomed him in. And they were grooming me. And I was going to have a great and illustrious future. These people aren't brand new with the internet. And my father had a falling out with his, his friends. He still thought a certain World War II leader was the greatest guy that ever walked the earth and even better than Jesus. And he still espoused those values and wanted me to espouse them very badly because we were superior. We should know that, that we were genetically better than everyone else on the planet. And everyone watching me, have it stuck, would be less than me. Now, obviously, I don't believe that. But those teachings stay with you for quite a while, and you know they're not true, and you have to keep fighting them down. And there are times that I'm talking to people, or I'm just watching a video, and I hear my father's voice, and I hear something he would have said. And, you know, I turned out to be gay, which is... I'm sure there were gay people that were also, you know, were funny little armbands, but um, it's it's something that you have to fight against that. It's not like you have to fight against a tendency every day of your life, but especially with the rise of it, especially on YouTube, I have seen how disturbingly well these channels are doing, and I said, you know, to the old man, I said, you rejected me as this. Why are these people doing so well as this? And I got one of those Odin non-answers. And what this person is hoping is that I start flying a certain type of flag behind me and that I start preaching certain type of values. Hate to disappoint this person, but I'm a quarter Polish. I would have went to the Easy Bake Ovens of a certain war. Um, I, you know, also I'm gay. I would have went there twice. A Catholic. So, you know, it keeps, it keeps adding up. But, and, you know, um, I won't preach that on this channel. I won't preach that rhetoric on this channel. I, I have, you know, full disclosure, watched these channels rise in popularity and it's troubled me because it's, it's one of those kind of rhetorics. How do you possibly fight it? Um, and everyone likes to be told they're special, you know, everyone likes to be told they're special, never mind that white isn't actually a thing, we're just very pale brown people, is what we are, um, everyone likes to be told they're special, and that their glorious leader is coming back, and uh, the new glorious golden era will last 10,000 years, I, I, I think that's like the current tally, and... I, I have even discussed with the old man, is, is this going to be a thing where they're just going to take over? And it's, there will be no other people left. I mean, we saw Hugens, Heath, and Hoth fall, and I went, you know, they're, they're, they're already, you know, taking over. And the top YouTubers that talk about the old man being a certain way, and we know that. And I said, I I don't know how much longer we can work together. To be clear, I don't agree with them. I've never had Odin press me to agree with them, but Odin is an ambiguous god. I I have often thought that, you know, if I started preaching like that, I know I would blow up overnight. 
you know, I could just make up some kind of story and come on and go, guys, I was so sorry to tell you for years, but this is what I really feel. I hate X, Y, and Z, and white people are awesome. And, you know, um, you know if I did that, I know I would blow up overnight. And I looked at Loki and I said, I, I really hate these moral tests. So the guys come up with me and go, yeah, ain't they a bit? And I don't believe that way, by the way, you know, but um, for what it's worth, that's what this person's looking for. And I can never offer them that. Um, they would have had to talk to 10-year-old me as I was being fitted for armbands, and I'm not proud of this, as I was being given youth pins and all the resicate pins and being given the all the German biographies, and this is why this leader was such a great person, and this is why all these men who did terrible, horrific things were such great people. I was told to worship these people, that they were our people, our folk. Do you see where I'm going? Yes. And I just, I want to cry for this person because I know where the head's and it doesn't head anywhere good. And for what it's worth, Odin wouldn't work with me when I was like that. He was like, get out. <laughs> so, so he wouldn't, but he is an ambiguous god. And we can't pretend that there aren't prison populations that have a certain take on the old man that's more to this person's liking. And that's not, by the way, saying anyone that's serving jail time or or has served jail time is a bad person. Not at all. You know, you, you make certain life choices. You, you end up there. I'm the only one in my family that didn't end up there, probably because I just didn't. And, you know, so it's like, uh, it had, had the government or had, you know, the police known what my father was grooming me towards, I'm sure I would have been cooling my heels for a while. I was just the one, only one that didn't become radicalized. You know, I have a lot of relatives who shave their head. Do I need to say more? No, I don't think I do. So, you know, I want you guys to know that you're safe here. And if they would ever manage to somehow destroy the channel, I and they won't. But if they would, you guys are strong enough to go on, on your own. I'm, I'm fine. Odin's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. But I just want you guys to know that even if they would, even if they would destroy every channel and burn every book and get rid of everything, you know, there will still be good people in the world. So, you know, you still have a safe channel. You're fine. You know, I'm not changing anything. You're not coming on to see funny little flags behind me. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, guys, don't, don't ever let yourself think that these people speak for everyone if you go towards them and you agree with what they what they feel that's up to you i'm not going to stop you i'd like to discourage you because i don't believe in it but you know there's always going to be that division of people that worship the old man and there's no there's no sense pretending there's not i usually try to keep it light with you guys but that's that's the reason we're getting the harassment harassment and the obsession and everything else and there's there's no pretending that these people aren't out there. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.